Naaman is cleansed. Naaman was the commander of the Syrian army. The Lord had helped him and his troops defeat their enemies, so the king of Syria respected Naaman very much. Naaman was a brave soldier, but he had leprosy. One day, while the Syrian troops were raiding Israel, they captured a girl and she became a servant of Naaman's wife. Some time later, the girl said, If your husband, Naaman, would go to the prophet in Samaria, he would be cured of his leprosy. When the king of Israel read the Syrian king's letter of introduction, he tore his clothes in fear and shouted, That Syrian king believes I can cure this man of leprosy. Does he think I'm God with the power of life and death? He must be trying to pick a fight with me. As soon as Elisha the prophet heard what had happened, he sent the Israelite king this message. Why are you so afraid? Send the man to me so that he will know there is a prophet in Israel. Naaman left with his horses and chariots and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. Elisha sent someone outside to say to him, Go wash seven times in the Jordan River, then you'll be completely cured. But Naaman stormed off, grumbling. Why couldn't he come out and talk to me? I thought for sure he would stand in front of me and pray to the Lord his God, then wave his hand over my skin and cure me. What about the Albana River or the Faber River? Those rivers in Damascus are just as good as any river in Israel. I could have washed in them and been cured. His servants went over to him and said, Sir, if the prophet had told you to do something difficult, you would have done it. So why don't you do what he said? Go wash and be cured. Naaman walked down to the Jordan. He waded out into the water and stooped down in it seven times, just as Elisha had told him. At once he was cured, and his skin became as smooth as a child's. Naaman and his officials went back to Elisha. Naaman stood in front of him and announced, Now I know that the God of Israel is the only God in the whole world.